Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a Bitcoin update. And what I will say is it's looking very interesting. <laughs> OK, uh, as you can see, we did break that structure we talked about in the last video. That was a fantastic little short. If you did find it, congrats. OK, those are not easy to find. But uh, yes, when we do go up for like a straight month, it's 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 appropriate that we do spill over. OK, uh, so what we will say is, yes, we did come up yesterday and we did actually uh, test this trend line again. Looks like we are failing this test so far, as well as something that's pretty bearish. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty bearish uh, that we do have the hash ribbons crossing here. Uh, it's not confirmed yet. I want to wait a couple more days to, for this to confirm. But this is not a great sign when you see this. This is the blockchain. This is what the miners are doing. And the miners uh, seem to have, uh, I mean, it's, it's weird, actually, because we are seeing uh, that hash rate actually smash all time highs still. But uh, yes, overall, in the previous times, these are moving averages, right? So the previous times we have been below them and that has caused these moving averages to cross. Uh, this is not great, okay? This is not great. But if you do like the video, there is a chance that these recover and go back up, okay? This, this is just a fact, okay? I'm not just, I'm not going to say anything else. That's the facts, okay? But what we will say, yeah, this is generally a pretty bad uh, sign here. If we do see that hash rate drop again, very bad. But if we can stay above these moving averages, they will just cross again towards the upside. So be aware of that. But yes, we do have this position close order on the hash rate so far. Uh, not fantastic, I will say. Not fantastic here uh, for the results of this indicator. But again, I mean, overall, on a macro scale, this thing does perform very, very well. OK, so yes, we are going to still be relying on it. And hopefully we can get that long signal coming through. But uh, as of right now, it is on the close. Uh, it is on the close position order status, OK, state. Uh, and uh, yeah, this can change. Of course, this can rewrite if we do get a lot of hash come through. But overall, I would say, yeah, not fantastic. Looking pretty bad. Looking like we might capitulate here down to the $50,000 mark again, okay? I do have another thing to show you here, guys, as I blind myself with the lights. Uh, here we go. Beautiful stuff. We can see the Capriola macro Bitcoin index said that the wrong order. But the point is this chart is fantastic. This chart is what you want to be looking at here when it comes to Bitcoin and the macro state. And as you can see here, we are in the green. OK, it is still green and it has been green for a few weeks now. And that is something that is extremely bullish. OK, so yes, on one hand, we have the hash rate potentially uh, causing a capitulation event that could destroy Bitcoin down to the 50k regions. Uh, but on the other hand, we do have this that measures open interest, it measures volume, it gen measures uh, blockchain activity, okay? And it is coming through and saying we do have another green tick. And when we do get big green ticks, particularly in a row like we can see here, uh, yes, uh, we can expect potential massive runs to come through. OK, so let's be aware of that. We did see it over here uh, in previous runs so the 2020 run uh, that, yes, we did get a massive capitulation after a bunch of green ticks. OK, but overall, yes, uh, this is looking a lot more bullish. And maybe we do get that capitulation event. And then after that, we just load up on everything. I'm talking altcoins. I'm talking meme coins. I'm talking bitcoins. OK, uh, we just load up on everything after this capitulation event if it does come through. But until that time, let's be cautious. We We've got the election coming up. We've got a lot of things happening around the world right now that can affect not just Bitcoin, but the entire global markets as a whole. OK, uh, if we do look at fear and greed here, currently chilling around a 49. Not too bad. OK, overall markets, a bit of a red day. And we're seeing Nero actually come through here uh, and bang 16 percent, which is interesting. And then if we are looking at the news. Um, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of people speculating about Bitcoin's price based on this HBO documentary that's meant to reveal who Satoshi is. HBO don't know who Satoshi is, guys. I don't. This is this is purely clickbait to get them to sign up or to get you to sign up to their platform, right? Um, they don't know who Satoshi is. They don't. Okay, nobody does. Okay, I know people that do, but uh, <laughs> nobody does generally. All right, nobody does. It would be too dangerous if people knew this. And yes, uh, there will be people that have already seen this. And if they did believe it, these big investors, these big whales at the top of the pyramid. Okay, um, yeah, if they did see this and they agree with it, they would be selling their Bitcoin right now. And we would be seeing Bitcoin absolutely blast it down into the abyss. So I think this will be used as a big event for Bitcoin. 
but I don't think it's going to be something that we should be betting the farm or, or we should think Bitcoin is done based on a documentary that HBO has made, okay? We've seen massive amounts of YouTube videos that get tens of millions of views saying they know who, uh, who Satoshi is. We saw Netflix come out with something as well, okay? This is just another little cog in the machine to shake up the markets, okay? So just ignore it. It's fine, okay? <laughs> and what we will say is, yes, long term here, guys, uh, we will be looking at this new trend line here. If we break this trend line in terms of trades, then yes, it's pretty bad for Bitcoin. Um, I will probably just be waiting for us to break this low more than anything. If we break this low, there is a big trade down to this four hour volume weighted ATR band. That's something that uh, is profitable. Generally, if, you, if you're trading this, that is a profitable trade, okay? If we go to the midterm here, guys, uh, the previous uh, midterm signal we put out did come into fruition fantastically. So if you found that, good stuff. You're, you're the one, okay? You are the goat. You are him, all right? Uh, but besides that, yes, uh, this is actually the hourly. <laughs> <laughs> we better be the four hour there. But uh, yeah, the four hour here, we are seeing, yes, a lot of volatility here around this zone. Uh, nothing crazy, okay? No big movements, but yes, it's just deciding whether it wants to head up here and uh, and just smash through up to the 70K region or whether we do get that capitulation event and uh, we do fall down into the abyss and potentially test the CME gap, okay? The CME gap here uh, is gonna be important, all right? And uh, yes, this free signal, did fail, okay? It's, it's not something where the entry came through either. What we wanted was a, a little bit of a zigzag, okay, retest. If we if we had come up after this retest, uh, then yes, there was potential to get into this trade, but overall the trade wasn't that valid because we didn't maintain over the 15 minute volume weighted ATR bands. But more importantly, back to the CME gap here, guys. Uh, I do just wanna show you this. This CME gap down here, 54K, do not fade this, okay? If we do get that capitulation event, that is the area I'm aiming for, okay? This is the area where we can absolutely smash it down to and make copious amounts of cash on a short, okay? Uh, that's really my next target for a big, big trade, okay? Besides that, if we do wanna head up here on the lower time frames. that's okay. I do just wanna see us above the 60 minute and the 15 minute volume weighted ATR band. If we can do that, we should be targeting liquidation levels up there. And where are these liquidation levelies? Uh, we can see that yes, 66.5 is that next zone for these blue 10x liquidation levels. If you don't know what these are, basically when volume goes up and open interest changes dramatically, we'll get one of these. And this typically is where the DJ and gamblers of crypto have put in a 10x trade, okay? And there has been a massive amount of them. So they have these levels put in via this indicator. And uh, typically, if you are just watching price, those are the areas that the market makers target, right? It's just the facts at this point, okay? This is the best indicator out there. Uh, and I will say it is free, okay? It's not my indicator either, okay? I'm not that good a coder, <laughs> okay? But uh, whoever made this, props to them because they have made me a lot of money, okay? But what we will say is uh, there are levels to both sides here. So the targets we want initially is about 58.3 if we do want to continue a dump here. But besides that, yeah, 66 six here okay devilish number but what we will say is there is money on the way there if it does want to head up okay cool uh, besides that that is yeah that's pretty much going to be it for this video i hope you have enjoyed it be sure to drop a like on it leave me a comment let me know what you're feeling what you're thinking about the markets right now it's a very important next couple months for the world not just bitcoin not just gold not just all of these other assets right uh, for the entire financial world okay so let's just be cautious in this area let's find the trades where we can get them and then after all of this explosion of news has ended we will then get a new macro direction and that macro direction hopefully is up okay beautiful stuff i will see you guys in the next video have a fantastic day and trade safe out there cheers